we're going to go into Exodus chapter 4. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thy hand? In thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. And it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. <coughs> and he put forth his hand, and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand, that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand un into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again. And plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my God, I am not eloquent, neither hear to for nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am now of, of speech, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb or deaf, or the seeing or the blind, have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O oh my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. <clears throat> and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman for unto the people, and he shall be even... He shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. And thou shalt, and thou shalt take his rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. And Moses went and returned to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said unto, unto him, Let me go, I pray thee. And return unto my brethren which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. And the Lord said unto Moses and Median, Go return unto Egypt, for all the men are dead which sought thy life. And Moses took his wife and his sons, and set them upon an 
ass, and he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. <coughs> And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass by the way in the inn that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then said, then Sapporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let him go. Then she said, A bloody husband thou art because of the circumcision. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met him in the mount of God and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spake all the words which the Lord had spoken unto Moses. And... Uh, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. In my interpretation of this chapter, God gets upset when people do not have faith in him. It is also not of God to be fearful, on another note, when God gives you a challenge such as leprosy or deafness or the like, it is your obligation to overcome or fix that challenge. In other words, God is like your parent. He gave life to you, and he can easily take you out. Thank you, and have a good night.